Welcome to the 12-hour MBA in Financial Modelling. My name is Robert Graham. I'll be taking you for this course. My background is finance. I have a PhD in finance, specialising in financial modelling. I've been building financial models for about 20 odd years. So I guess you'd call me a financial modelling specialist. All right, let's start talking about the basic course structure. The course structure will consist of seven main modules. First, we'll start with the designing of the financial model. Again, a key point about a financial model is to make sure that you design it so it's efficient and also so it doesn't have errors in it. So you'll find during the design stage, we'll talk about how is the best way to set the model up, what's the best input structures, what are the best report structures, how can you build your models to minimise uh, errors inside your, inside your model. We'll then move on to the question of risk analysis. Uh, we're going to look at three main types of risk analysis. First, we'll start with fairly basic risk analysis, what are called data tables. This allows you to do simple one-off analysis. So you can say, what happens if one variable changes? What effect will that have on my key results, such as NPV? We'll then look at a more advanced risk analysis called scenario analysis. Scenario analysis has the advantage that it handles not one variable, but in fact up to 34 variables simultaneously. And in financial modelling, that's normally what we want to look at. We want to look at not the change of interest rates or the change of acceleration, but what we do want to look at is what's the net effect of changing 10 or 15 variables at the same time. And that's what the scenario analysis allows you to do. We'll then look at a more advanced technique again, which is called simulation. If risk is dominant, then simulation is by far the best technique to use. You'll find simulation doesn't just give you a single answer. It doesn't say NPV is $50 million. What it does do is give you a likely range. It'll say you, it'll tell you that NPV on average might be 50 mil, but it could be plus or minus 10 mil, or it could be plus or minus 100 mil. And again, that's the key point about a simulation model. It gives you some indication of how confident you can be in your results. After that, we're then going to look at three specialised topics. One is forecasting. All our models have an element of forecasting in them. We're forecasting interest rates, we're forecasting exchange rates, we're forecasting sales. You'll find Excel has some built-in forecasting capabilities, and that's what we'll be doing in the forecasting module, is looking at the different capabilities that we have in Excel and how you would build them into a financial model. The next topic is decision trees. Now decision trees is a different modelling technique. In the models we've discussed so far, the models have been built as a, what are called deterministic models and then we've added risk analysis to it as a second step. In a decision tree model, the risk is built explicitly into the model. We build in the probabilities of a particular event taking place. And this allows us to analyse the risk in a different fashion. As you'll see when we build that type of model, you'll see it's a very different model uh, to the standard financial models that we've been looking at during the main part of the course. Finally, the last main topic is user-defined functions. This again is to show you a different technique in Excel. Excel has its own functions, about 500 of them, but the good news is you can build your functions inside Excel. And what we're going to look at in that case is how would you build your function inside Excel? And in fact, I'm going to use a, a black Scholes pricing model to illustrate how you could build a relatively complex function inside the Excel spreadsheet. The other key point about the course is it is a combined workshop presentation. So what that means is we'll be covering a, a topic initially on the screen and then when we're finished you'll have the opportunity to work on a workshop and use the techniques we've been talking about immediately in your model and build a model using those techniques.